Do you ever feel like using AI assistants like ChatGPT is getting more and more frustrating? As you have gotten used to using these tools to help with their writing or brainstorming tasks, we want to be able to move faster. But now we're stuck copy pasting most of the time, so the AI can really understand our world and do a better job. For example, if you want to use ChatGPT to rewrite our email and make it sound more polite, we'll first copy the email, add it to ChatGPT, add the context so AI knows what we're trying to say, AI will do its thing, then we copy paste back the AI generated response and send it away. This is just an example, but we have to do this for every single AI task we need to do. And that's just tedious. But that's how the AI assistants like ChatGPT work because they cannot talk to all our other apps. But in the AI world, things change really fast and there is a better way. Allow me to introduce you to Zapier MCP. Hello. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, which is a standardized protocol where AI agents like Claude by Anthropic or ChatGPT can talk to your other apps securely and privately. If you're technical, you can build your own MCP server so you can have any app talk to your AI assistant. Or if you're not technical, you need to know about Zapier MCP. So that way your AI assistant like ChatGPT or Claude can have all the context and needs from the other apps and take strategic actions within the workflow. So I wanted to see what would happen if I connect my Claude chat with my email and my Notion using Zapier MCP. So if we go to Zapier MCP and do a new MCP server, I have to select a client. I already have Claude selected, so this option is grayed out, but essentially I would select Claude or I can select any of these, uh, which is Anthropic API or OpenAI API or Claude Code or Gemini CLI. Or if I'm a software engineer, I could connect my cursor, VS Code, warp, windsurf, and so on and so forth. And I just give it a name. So here I have my Claude MCP server connected, and then I can go here and add a tool and give access to any app I want my Claude to chat with. Here, pretty much I can search for almost 8,000 apps. We have Google Drive, Google Docs, we have Airtable, HubSpot, CRMs, uh, pretty much all business applications that we can, we can think of. You can just search for one that you want. Here I can search for Notion. As you can see, all these tools are already added. I can go to Google Analytics and I can just add all these tools and I just connect my account. It's that simple. So now when I go to Claude in my chat, I go for this button which says search and tools. I can just go enable, I can just co-connect my Zapier MCP and we're all set. So here within Zapier MCP, I can see all the apps that are connected. So here I have my Google Calendar. Here I have my Slack tools, all the things you can do in Slack. I've got my Notion. Let's see what I can do if I connect my cloud with my calendar, my email, and my Notion using Zapier MCP. It's super simple to set up. Leave a comment if you want a tutorial video on this. But essentially, all I had to do was go to Zapier MCP, then create a new MCP server, select Cloud as my option, and then add all the tools I wanted Cloud to talk to through Zapier MCP. When you go to Cloud, you just have to make sure your Zapier MCP is enabled and all the tools that you want to use in that conversation for the task are also enabled in the list over here. A quick hack if something's kind of like not available just to disable or disable all. Uh, but again, I will leave that to your discretion to see which tools you're comfortable uh, giving permissions to for that specific task. So here my example is, can you please look at the emails from the past week, extract any action items I may have, and please add it to my Notion board called Kushank's to-do list. Let's see what happens if I hit run here. Now, first it's gonna ask you for permission to use this app again. These are just security practices just to make sure that the tools have full consent to do the actions on your behalf. If this is your first time using this specific app, you're gonna get this notification. Uh, you can allow once if that's what you want, or you can allow always so you don't have to get this notification over and over again. Here on our Notion, uh, we don't have these tasks added. Uh, all we have done is given the command to Claude. It's automatically going through our inbox for the past seven days, as we have mentioned in the prompt, it's extracting, it's going through the content, extracting all the action items, finding the database in my Notion, and adding it to Notion automatically. So previously, without using Zapier MCP, what I would have to do would be like, you know, maybe take all my emails or you maybe use a Zapier automation to go through all my emails and then extract, to copy paste all the content, extract the action items, then I had to go to Notion and add those tasks automatically. But now through Zapier MCP, we have all the tools connected and talk to each other. It can all be done using our AI assistant like ChatGPT or Claude. So it can really be our assistant in the best possible form. So this is just one example where I didn't have to bounce between multiple apps while using my AI assistant, where I can have my assistant do the entire task to completion. Some other very simple use cases you can start off with are summarizing emails, maybe organizing calendars, drafting status updates, you're looking at the project documents, creating reports, or write Slack replies summarizing Slack messages and so on and so forth. I don't know about you, but it does feel like AI is getting a lot more useful and smarter than before with having access to all these tools. And this is the future of AI. Not even just Zapier MCP, but if we go back to our Claude or Chat GPT, we can see they all have this new features called connectors, which is trying to do essentially the same thing, where instead of having access to almost 8,000 applications, they have a few partners, for example, HubSpot or Gmail or Calendar, and we can connect these apps directly with these AI assistants and have them do the exact same function, where they can read the data and the context 
from all these applications, use its AI to do its magic and to send the data back to those tools all done automatically. Zapier MCP makes it a lot more comprehensive because of almost 8,000 applications you can partner up with versus having a selection of 10 to 15, which may not be applicable for everyone. That being said, even though this does seem to be the direction for future of AI, there is a big privacy concern. We do not know what are the policies about data breaches are, who's gonna be responsible, if it is a company data, what are the company policies connecting these tools with AI systems, how is the data is being used and processed by companies like ChatGPT or Claude. So that can still be a big question mark for people who don't fully trust it. And I get that. If the data is quite sensitive, I would have you really confirm the data privacy policies and data usage policies within your companies just to make sure you're not cr crossing some boundaries if the policies are not in place. Since all these tools are so new, we don't know where the vulnerabilities are. So data privacy can be a huge concern and can be a turnoff for some people. But the capability in the direction where all the companies are putting the research and development efforts tells us clearly that this is the future of AI. And I'm pretty sure more measures will be put in place just to make sure that data security and privacy are being taken care of. So this was a quick overview of Sapier MCP and how you can have your AI assistants be more smart and strategic when they can talk to other applications done in a very simple way. If you do need a detailed tutorial, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to do a quick video on how you can set one up for yourself. If this video was useful, give a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's anything that really stood out. Signing off your chief officer. I'll see you next time.